A big twist in the Kyron Horman investigation for the first time. We're hearing Terry Horman was not the last one to see Kyron the day he disappeared. The statement was made during the Horman's divorce proceedings as Terry's attorneys tried to prove she's a fit parent and should be able to see her daughter. Kyle Boshi reports. And to deny her the rights. New claims in the Kyron Horman case. During a divorce hearing, her lawyers claim Terry Horman was not the last one to see Kyron at school the day he disappeared as police have long suggested. We have witnesses who will say, in fact, they know facts firsthand that demonstrate that is not true. They argue there's been a conscious effort by police and prosecutors for the past three years to vilify Terry Horman. All designed very expressly to not only condition the public and to persuade the public, if you will, that she is a terrible person, an unfit parent. Terry Horman's lawyers issued nearly a dozen subpoenas for some students and staff at Skyline School. Businesses, including Fred Meyer and a health club, and a lead investigator in the case. Prosecutors object. They moved to quash those subpoenas, arguing the interviews might jeopardize the ongoing investigation. The grand jury is currently in panel. It is currently taking testimony and evidence. Kyron Horman disappeared from Skyline School in June of 2010. He's never been found, and no one's been charged. I still think we have the obligation to an ongoing investigation to find Kyron and conclude that effort while pursuing what's in my daughter's best interest along that path. And at some point in time, there's going to be closure to both. The attorney representing Kane Horman argued Terry's lawyers are simply grandstanding and using the hearing as a PR stunt to proclaim her innocence. The judge denied the request by Terry Horman's divorce lawyers. They want to interview the lead investigator on the case. They say they should be allowed to the same information her husband, Kane Horman, was given. The judge ruled Oregon law states many aspects of an ongoing investigation are confidential.